what's up y'all welcome back so today i'm gonna do a little how-to tutorial on customizing your phone changing your icons all that good stuff by now you've probably already updated your phone with the ios 14 update and most likely you've already watched videos on how to customize your phone but if you're like me a lot of them were probably still confusing to you i know i was still confused after a few of the ones that i watched so i figured i would try my hand and do a little step by step to help some people out i don't know hopefully this will help somebody but i'm not gonna wrap y'all up because I know what y'all are here for. So I'm gonna split it into two parts. The first part is gonna be how to add widgets onto your home screen. And then the second part is gonna be how to switch up your icons into like cuter ones. So if you wanna know how to do all of this step by step, then just keep watching. So the first thing you wanna do, which is probably the most time consuming, is find pictures that you wanna use. Figure out what aesthetic you want to have on your phone and then find pictures that match what you're going for. I like to use the app We Heart It. There's literally everything on there. You just search whatever you're looking for literally type in whatever kind of picture you want and there's so many images so you can use that you can use Pinterest obviously you can Google images then you want to download the apps color widgets and widget Smith which are the two apps we're gonna be using to put the widgets on your phone now I'm just gonna record my screen okay once you've downloaded those apps you're gonna open up widget Smith and I already have a bunch of widgets saved so that's what all this is but when you first open it it's not gonna look like this so what you're gonna do is let's create one so you're gonna click add small widget and then you just select where here it says small number 19 because I already have 19 widgets click that we're just gonna tap the center and then scroll down you can use like these dates if you want to but I'm gonna make this into a picture so I'm gonna go down to custom once you click photo then you're gonna go down to select photo and choose photo and so for this I'm gonna use this little picture I have here and it's just like a little game icon and so once you do that you're gonna click back small number 19 and I'm gonna change the name so I can remember it because when you're switching widgets on your home screen it doesn't show you the picture it just shows you the name so then I'm just gonna name it games small and then you click save so now we have game small as a small widget so then I'm gonna go to my home screen and I started this one because this is where I'm gonna show you guys like how to do everything. You just wanna hold the home screen down until your apps are jiggling and then you're gonna select the plus sign at the top and then you're gonna scroll down to Widget Smith and then here is where it shows all the widget sizes. And so for this one, we're gonna do the small widget because we just created a small widget. So just click add widget and right now it's showing what is set as the default which is this calendar you can change the default but i just leave it like that so then you want to select that widget where it says small number 18 you just select that and so i'm going to go down and select game small which is the one that we just created and then you just tap out of your home screen and there click done and now you have a cute new widget if you want to switch it up or move it around all you have to do is hold the widget down and then it'll give you those two options and so if we want to change it you would click edit widget and so I would select game small and then I can change it to any of these small widgets that I created. So if I want to change it, let's do, let's change it to cute bear. And now it's cute bear. So I'm going to change it back. Game small. Okay. Another thing that you can do with color widgets, these are pre-made widgets that you can kind of change up a little bit. So they have all of these options. The buttercup one is like my favorite, it's so cute. There's a ton of options that you can select and then you can edit it and then you can change like the background to dark or light or colored. Um, let's just do light for this one. You can change the theme to whatever colors you want. There's not like the largest selection of colors but you can switch it up so it's still kind of cute. So I'm gonna do pink and then you can change the fonts to what you want. So I like that. Then you select set widget and then that just saves all of the changes that we just made to customize the widget. And then set widget. And now if we go back to that screen, you hold it down until it jiggles. I don't know why it's called jiggle. Hit the plus sign and then color widgets. And for this one, let's do the medium size and you just hit add widget and now you have a medium widget. How many times have I said widget so far in this video? So that's all you do to add widgets onto your home screen. So next I'm gonna show you how to customize your icons. Go to the app 
shortcuts. I think this was like an automatic inclusion with the update. So if you don't have it, download the shortcuts app. You'll select shortcuts. You're gonna hit the plus sign. And then next to where it says new shortcut, you're gonna select those three dots. We're gonna give this a shortcut name and I'm just gonna call it Nintendo. And then you wanna hit add to home screen. And then where it says home screen name and icon, you're gonna select the icon. You're gonna select choose photo. And I'm gonna do this little Game Boy here. So then you're gonna select choose. Where it says new shortcut, you're gonna rename it because this is what you're gonna see when you look at the app. So I'm gonna name it Nintendo just for this. And then you click add and then you select done. So the next thing that you have to do is assign an action to it and we are going to type in open app and then select choose and then I'm just gonna type it in Nintendo Switch Online and then you just hit done. Now we have a Nintendo app and it will do that delayed thing and then it will open the app. <laughs> and that's it, it's pretty simple. So yeah, now we have like a cute, I kinda like how this looks actually. It wasn't even intentional. This is how it looks once you create the aesthetic. Really the most time consuming part is finding the pictures. So this is just the aesthetic that I went with, just kinda stuff that I like. I thought these app icons were cute, so I just went with these. It's just kinda all of my favorite things. I only changed the icons on the first two pages of my phone because I have way too many apps to change all of them. Plus, like I said, using the shortcut is kind of annoying because it goes through the shortcut and then opens, but I like how this looks, so I'm gonna leave it for now. As you can see, I have too many apps to do all that. So yeah, I just left these inside of their folders. I just really like how all of this came out. These are the cutest pictures. Literally, it makes me so happy because these are all of my favorite things. So yeah, that's all you have to do to customize your iPhone. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful for you guys. Let me know in the comments if this was helpful for you if not my bad I tried to explain it as simply as I could if you know any tips to do this easier let us all know in the comments and yeah I will see you guys in my next video